Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to solve homogeneous differential equation. Before this, let's have a look what is homogeneous differential equation. So for this we should know homogeneous function. Let's consider if we have function this f of x y. If we have f of x y x square twice x y plus y square. Now this is a homogeneous function. Of degree two. Yes, we can check that here. Degree of each term is here two. Yes, here we have degree two, and here we have this one plus one degree two here. So this function is homogeneous function. Similarly, we can take next another example. If we have this x cube, if we have this is four x square y plus this is y cube. Yes. Now this is also homogeneous function of degree 3 here here we have degree of each term is here 3 again if we can check here if we have function f of x y and variable x and y if we have this is x cube plus 3 x square plus this is here if we have this y yes now this is not a homogeneous function right because degree of each term is not same here. So this is homogeneous function. This is homogeneous functions. So yes, we have defined homogeneous function is that the function or expression in which the degree of each term is same, right? So now we are ready to see what is homogeneous differential equation. Now consider differential equation of the form f of x y into d x plus g of x y into d y where f of x y and g of x y are homogeneous functions in variable x and y of same degree right from this differential equation one we can write this two form dy by dx or dx by dy now here f of x y and g of x y are homogeneous functions of same degree then this differential equation one it's said to be homogeneous differential equation and this homogeneous differential equation is reducible to variable separable form. So we have to reduce this equation, this homogeneous differential equation in variable separable form by putting dependent variable as another variable. Then we will get new equation and by integrating that we will get the required solution of this given differential equation. Now we will see how to proceed for this one. Let's if we have differential equation of this form dy by dx is what we have to do. We have to put this y by x is equals to v. That means we will get y is equals to vx. That means this is dependent variable. We have put y is equals to vx for this form. Then differentiating this y with respect to x, we will get here this dy by dx is equals to, we have to differentiate with respect to x. So we will get this is v into derivative of x is 1, then plus x into derivative of v with respect to x. We have find this is by product rule. So we will get the dy by dx, value of dy by dx we have to put in this form to solve this given differential equation. And if we get this form of differential equation dx by dy where this f of x y and g of x y are homogeneous function of same degree then we have to put this x by y is equals to v then we will get x is equals to v y right we got here dependent variable x is equals to v y now here we have to differentiate x with respect to y so that we will get this value. So we have to differentiate this is with respect to y. So dx upon dy is equals to v into derivative of this y with respect to y. This is 1 plus x into v derivative with respect to y. So we got here this one. Yes. So we got the value of dx by dy which we have to put in this form. Right. Yes. When we have differential equation of this form, yes, dy by dx, 
So we have to put this variable y by x is equals to v, right? And we will get value of y and dy by dx. And here when we have differential equation in this form dx by dy, we have to put x by y is equals to v. That means this x by y is equals to v. Here we have to remember how to do the substitution. x by y, we have to put another variable as a v. Then we will get the required value of x and this dx by dy. In this way, we have to proceed for homogeneous differential equation. So now we will see one example here. Now we have to solve this differential equation. Now we have to check whether this differential equation is homogeneous or not. So for this we will try to write down this form dy by dx. We will try to find out dy by dx. So what is here? When we have, when we shift this term to here, on this side we will get y minus y square upon x, right? Now what we can do here? We have to shift this x here. So first we will try to simplify this term. So we will have this is yx minus y square upon this x, right? Now we will write, we will shift this x to on this side. So we will get dy by dx. Now we can check this numerator and denominator. Yes, this is our form. Yes, now this function f of x, y in numerator we have this homogeneous functions of variable x and y of degree 2 and here also this function is of degree 2. So that means this is homogeneous differential equation. Yes, now this is of the form dy by dx is equals to f of x, y upon g of x, y. So what we have to do, we have to put this y by x is equals to v, right? This y by x is equals to v. So we will get this is y is equals to vx. Now this differentiating with respect to x, we will get the value of dy by dx. This is yes. Now what we have to do, we have to solve this differential equation by putting this values. So this one implies what is the value of dy by dx? p plus x into dv by dx is equals to, we have to put y is equals to vx. So we will put here y is equals to vx into x minus y square means we will have v square x square upon this x square. Now we can simplify this is here. We have here v plus x into dv by dx is equals to we can take this x square outside so we have here v minus v square yes into x square upon x square right now we can cancel out this x square x square so we will have v minus v square right so now we have to simplify again this is right now again Yes, now we can check that we can separate the variables. So we have to write this v on one side. So we have this is here and x on another side. Yes, now this is variable separable form and we know how to solve this variable separable form. So what we have to do, we have to integrate this on both sides. So yes, we have to find 1 upon v square integration. So we will write this is in numerator. Yes, so what is the integration of this one? Yes, we can find and this is, this is standard result. We know this, yes. So we have to put all these values here. So what's its integration? This is minus, yes, this is v raised to, this is minus 1 upon minus 1 and this integration, this is log of x plus c, yes. So now this minus minus get plus here. So we have, yes, so what we got here, we got 1 upon v is equals to log x plus c, yes. 
Now this is the solution of this differential equation, this variable separable form, this equation, right? Now this is the solution in variable v and x, but our given differential equation is in variable y and x. So what we have to do here, we have to put the value of v. We know we have put y by x is equals to v, right? So we have to put the value of v here. So we will have this is x by y is equals to log of x plus c and this is the required solution of given differential equation right so yes how we have tried for given differential equation yes when we have given differential equation we have to write down in the form of dy by dx or dx by dy and from this we have to do this substitution y by x is equals to v so that we will get the value of y and this dy by dx. Then by putting these values in this given equation, we will get one differential equation in variable x and v. And that differential equation we have to reduce in variable separable form. And this variable separable form we have to solve by integrating both sides right by using the results of integration by using the standard formulas of integration we have to solve and we will get the required solution of given differential equation now we will try to solve one more example so yes here we can check that we have two terms of this dy by dx so we can simplify we can take on one side so we will have so we got this one so we will write we will have dy by dx is equals to yes now this is a homogeneous differential equation yes why this is homogeneous differential equation yes we can check that this numerator and denominator is of is a function of same degree right so this is homogeneous differential equation so what we have to do we have to put y by x is equals to another variable v so we will have y is equals to vx and differentiating this y with respect to x we will get now we have to put all these values here in this equation now on simplification we will get yes x square here we have common so we will have this is v minus 1 now x square x square get cancelled so we have here v upon v minus 1 now we got this differential equation now we have to again simplify this is here yes on simplification we have here this v square and minus v square get cancelled so we have yes now we got this differential equation and this is what we can check we have differential equation in two variable x and v right so we have to try for variable separable forms we have v on this side so we will shift all these terms here x on this side yes right now yes this is what variable separable form now we know that how to solve this here so we have to integrate on both sides now we have to solve this integration yes we can check that here we can simplify this term as a by dividing this v minus 1 by this v so we will have 1 minus 1 upon v so that we can find integration easily right so yes so on solving this we will have this we can separate this is here so yes what's in what's this here integration of dv so here we have this v 1 upon v integration so this is we have log v and this integration of x with respect to x so we have this is log of x this is integration constant c now we have to simplify yes we can collect the terms of this log here so we will have so v plus c is equals to yes what is by log rule we will have this is log vx 
yes then yes now this is the solution of this differential equation right this is yes now what we have to do we want the solution of differential equation in variable y and x so we have to put value of v and we have put v this is y by x is equals to v so we have to put this value here so we have to put the values of v so that we will get the required solution so v is equals to this is y by x plus c again here what is v v is equals to y by x this into x now we can check that this x has get cancelled so we have y by x plus c is equals to log of y we can write this is yes and this is the required solution of given differential equation now once again we will see how to solve homogeneous differential equations now when we have given any differential equation we have to write down that differential equation we have to try to write down in this form dy by dx or dx by dy and then by this form we have to put this y by x is equals to v or this x by y is equals to v for this form then we will get the value of dy by dx yes and here we will get the value of dx by dy then by putting all this value in this form we will get one differential equation in variable x and v then we have to write down differential equation in variable separable form then we can we have to solve this differential equation by integrating on both sides then next we will get solution of this differential equation in variable x and v so we have to resubstitute the values so that we will get required solution so in this way we have to proceed for homogeneous differential equation thank you